In the race for the U.S. Senate seat in Maryland, polls consistently show that Prince George's County Executive Angela also Brooks is leading former Maryland Governor Larry Hogan by a significant margin in some and not so significant in others. Mm -hmm. But in a race that many consider close, each campaign is looking to gain an advantage and a disadvantage to the other side. The revelation several weeks ago that also Brooks was receiving tax credits that she was not entitled to seemed to stall her campaign a bit. And Stacy, this week it was revealed that Miss Also Brooks sent her daughter to a very expensive private grade school and high school in the District of Columbia rather than to Prince George's County Schools. Is this going to hurt her politically? <laughs> Hear the music, a tale as old as time, with politicians <laughs> sending their children to private instead of public schools. We've seen it in every modern president, and it doesn't surprise me that Miss Also Brooks would also um, do the same. She's probably trying to do the best thing possible for her child. Could it hurt her? Maybe. Um, if nothing else, <laughs> it's a very high level indictment of the PG school system. And uh, by the way, do you remember when I stated on your show a couple of months ago that if she stumbles, I believe it will be because Governor Moore stuck out his foot to trip her up. I have no proof of this, but I'm just wondering how CNN became so clever about her property tax issue when they did. And now all of a sudden getting you know close to the very end here, why is the school issue suddenly percolating? It doesn't come from the Hogan camp. So I'm just wondering um, if she could steal her thunder, his thunder if she ends up in the U.S. Senate. And maybe there's a little bit of this background uh, information being fed. Well, it, you know, it's, it's the Game of Thrones intrigue, right? I mean, we all, we all, we all, we all love that, right? That's, that's, what, that's what we're here for. And, you know, um, you know Mike, uh, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a great admiration for uh, President uh, Jimmy Carter. But uh, I, one of the things that he did do was he sent his daughter to D.C. public schools uh, when, when he first became president. So uh, yeah. isn't this you know, just really an issue about trust and political leadership and, you know, that, you know, a leader should make a first step uh, when speaking to their constituents? Well, I think that, as Stacy said, parents make decisions that are best for their children. And I think that's an important thing. And honestly, I am a strong and staunch public school advocate. I have siblings that are teachers. My wife has siblings that are, that are teachers. We have grown up in the system. Our children have all, gone to, have all gone through a public school system. I strongly believe in it. But I also know that there are a lot of folks who, for a variety of reasons, have recognized that that may not be best for them. And is that the choice I would make? It's not. And so I, it's very difficult, though, I think, to question why people have identified that as a best path, path, best path for their child. I don't know when the decision was made, but I'm not even sure she was county executive when her daughter went to high school. So I'm pretty sure that that didn't necessarily factor into the calculation at that point. And well, so but, but she was an elected official at that point. She was she, uh, state's she, attorney. Yeah, she may have been. And, and so, and but, so the reality is life. that but she, but she wasn't responsible for the school system. I don't know the decision that uh, why she made the decision for her child. And, that, and I can't and I'm not going to question that. Um, can people make it an issue? Sure. People make an issue over lots of things. I'm pretty sure that it wasn't Governor Moore that raised the issue, though. Um, but that notwithstanding. <laughs> Um, well, it doesn't have know, to be him directly, Mike. It could have come from I, one of his underlings. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't anybody from that team. I'm pretty sure that their team is pretty committed to getting um, County Executive also Brooks elected to the U.S. Senate. But but I, it's always fun to add the intrigue for the for the conversation. But I think that, you know, Prince George's schools continue to improve. Um, are they where they need to be? I don't think any school system is where it needs to be. I think we're seeing lots of challenges. And I think to continue to focus on how we make sure our children are well equipped to thrive in an environment that is ever changing is a real challenge today, and you know so that's where I think we are. Well, uh, we, we'll we'll leave we'll leave it at that. I I won't ask your predictions on the on the uh, on the race itself. Early voting started today, as well as I mean yesterday, excuse me, on the twenty fourth, and I'm looking forward to uh, getting out and casting my ballot uh, sometime this afternoon. <laughs> 